Pinchas, who became Eliyahu, to be that person who lives forever and announces and brings about the Gmatikut. But what is the secret of the word Shalom, which is the essence of the, of the blessing given to uh, Eliyahu and Avi, Pinchas? It's also, not coincidentally, the last blessing in the, in the Amidah. We ask for healing, we ask for wisdom, we ask for transformation, we ask for sustenance, we ask for all the important things. But what's the last blessing? Shalom, peace. And in that blessing, there's really the, the hint into what the true end blessing should be. It says in the Gemara, concerning all the animals, especially here we're talking about after the sin of Adam, we know most of the story, the snake, the Bachash came to Adam and Eve, made them make a mistake. For the Creator, even though even though the snake did a terrible thing, he made all of humanity fall, nevertheless, wherever he goes, he goes to the roof, he can find food. He goes down to the ground, he finds the food. So although the snake was at the core of what caused humanity to fall, nevertheless, the snake still is supported, given sustenance by the Creator. So the Kabbalists ask, so what's the difference between the snake who receives all of his sustenance and maybe us who want to receive our sustenance, our light, our blessings from the Creator? Yitzhak Avarka says that the difference is that the snake and really anybody who's on that level, whenever he or she asks for anything, the Creator says, this is what you want, I'll give it to you, but please get away from me. I don't want you to be near me. Most people, when we think about our spiritual connection, what we desire, I think most of us, there are things we want. I want this, I want that. But we never think about how we want to receive it. And there are two types of receiving. There is the receiving of the snake, which is, as the Kabbalists say, you want this here, take it. But get away from me, the Creator says. I don't want you to be next to me. I don't want you to be in front of me. Then there is, as we say in the Amidah, in the blessing of Shalom, is Bachenu Avinu, Give us the blessings, but be'ol panecha. We want our blessings to be with the countenance, with the shining light of the Creator's face. Which means that our truest desire is not simply to receive this request, this blessing, this desire, but most importantly, the, really what's important to me is that the Creator is there and stays while He gives it to me and stays after He gives it to me. There's a verse, be'ol me melech hayim. A person who receives, like the snake, I want this, the Creator gives it to me, okay, good, take and go, as the Kabbalists say. He can never connect to immortality, to life. He can never connect to the light of glory. And we have to ask ourselves that question on the Shabbat. What is, when I look at my spiritual work, and when I look at my physical and spiritual desires, is it to receive it? Or is that secondary to maintaining that and that's the two types of receiving. Pinchas was of the desire, I don't really care what I receive. Yes, I'm going to ask. Pinchas asked for miracles. You know, an endless amount of miracles occurred for Pinchas that allowed him to remain alive. But that was secondary to him. The most important request for Pinchas was whether I live through this or die through this. Whatever blessing I receive, I want to make sure that I maintain my connection and stand before the light of the Creator countenance of the light of the face of the Creator always. There were times that he did, that he, let's say, caused anger from the Creator. All kinds of things happened in the life of Pinchas and Eliyahu, ups and downs. But one thing never changed. The Creator was always with him. Whether when, when um, in the stories of the prophets, when the Navi got angry at the Israelites and the Creator then had made him walk for days, the Creator was always with him. So, when the Creator promises Pinchas, I'm giving to you the blessing, my promise, that no matter what you ask for, no matter what you receive, no matter what you do, no matter how high you go, or no matter how low you go, because the, your most important desire is to be in front of me, to be connected to the light of the Creator, regardless of receiving or not receiving, therefore I promise you, you will always be with me. There's a story of Abisim Chabarim of Pachisco who said, it's a statement, he says, when I get to the next world after I leave this physical world, and he says, and he uses the word, and I see an idiot with 13 carriagefuls of olam haba, of blessings and light. He says, but if I see that it was given to him and he was sent away from the opening melech from the face of the Creator, I'm going to laugh at him and never desire him. 
I'd rather be in the next world, he says, with nothing but in front of the Creator than with everything and away from the light of the Creator. I'll ask the Creator, and this is, once he gives it to me, once I receive this blessing, I'm gone. The Creator is really kicking you out, but you're also gone because you don't really care to stay there. We ask for healing, we ask for sustenance, but at the end, I don't want any of the things I just asked for. I don't want any of the blessings that I just asked for if it's not with your face shining to me always. During the request, after receiving what I requested, and after. That's because that's my singular most important request. The action that Pinchas was doing, he knew could cause him death. His request was, I want to be with the light of the Creator regardless of anything else that I receive or don't receive. And because of that, he received the blessing of eternal life.